somebody cooks a meal for you and they spend a lot of time cooking that meal, it's a way that they are showing their love for you. And I think that when you harvest your own meat and then you cook it for somebody, that's amazing. In my mind, this is like the true organic movement, pursuing your own food and having the hands-on experience in every step of the process. Harvesting wild meat is one of the healthiest things that you can do. You're out in nature, you're going up and down mountains or swimming in the middle of the ocean. As humans on this earth, we have a relationship with earth. We have a relationship with nature. And you need to give time to nature in order for it to give back to you. My name is Eric Sun. I'm a hunter and a chef. I went to UCLA for college as an English major, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do professionally as a career, and just fell in love with cooking. You're experimenting, you're learning with different ingredients and different techniques. We met at a restaurant before this one. Uh, it was called Angelini Osteria. He had dinner there and he wanted to meet the chef and we had a conversation. He told me that he's a hunter and he dives for seafood. His approach is very different than any other chef and it's because he hunts all these animals and not to overcomplicate it with too many different flavors but to let the main ingredient shine. I met Ori and I told him, hey, I'd love to bring you some fish and lobsters for you to experiment with. And so I dove all night. He said that the lobster was the best he's ever tasted. Whatever he puts on the plate is, is him. And when you're yourself, the food tastes much better. Ori's my friend and he wanted to open a restaurant and he was looking for help with funding and so I helped him with some funding. For two years before I opened, we hunted at least three, four times a month. So for me, that was a big thing of knowing how the product is supposed to taste like when it's not farm raised. When I was 12, I was on a boat and I was fishing with my friend and we weren't catching diddly. And then I saw his dad go into the water with scuba tanks and a spear gun and come out with a lot of fish. So I just thought that maybe I should go into the water and be more aggressive. Freediving is really interesting to me because it's the ultimate hunt. You gotta be able to catch your prey on a breath hold. I think in order to be successful spearfishing, you need to become one with the water and you need to learn what's gonna attract the fish and you really need to know the area that you're hunting, whether there's a lot of pressure, where the currents are coming from, and you need to know the underwater hunting grounds, if you will. I think that a lot of people grew up fishing, so I think it's easy for people to kill fish. But I think hunting is something that is not as socially accepted because maybe people haven't been exposed to it. I grew up with dogs and rabbits and I love animals. You know, seeing death is not pretty, but I think that if you want to eat meat, I think it's an important part of the process. I'm from California, a lot of people are anti-hunting and maybe they believe that nature should be untouched and people shouldn't hunt. Domesticated livestock has the sole purpose of providing a sustainable constant food source and they feel that wild animals should possibly, you know, not be hunted as much for food. Some people think they should only be trophy hunted, other people think they should only be hunted for sustainability and for meat. But I think that hunting in itself adds a great, you know, choice for people. I like to honor the animal by sharing the food with people that I care about. And I like to honor the animal by cooking it in the best way that I know how. I think that's an important part of food culture today. Yeah, what's next is opening my own restaurants in San Francisco. Eric uh, has been my friend for now like eight years and we cooked a ton of food together. It's gonna be a very happy day when he opens this place. I think my hunting and fishing philosophy is transferred over to the restaurant in the respect that we're always trying to source the best. Something that tastes like how it should. And I only know that because I've hunted. Hunters and fishermen pour a lot of dollars into making sure we have adequate funding for conservation programs. But I think that with hunting, you're able to control the population and to make sure that people are getting healthy meat. But I think that it's the pursuit of food. This is like true organic.
what Eric's doing with his restaurant business and with his website and what he promotes is extremely important. This is natural and it is sustainable. I think food is love. I think that when you make food and you harvest the food or you grow the food as a farmer, a lot of dedication and skill goes into it. So I think that's what excites me, that it's really the people. At the heart of a restaurant is the food and the people and being able to connect with different people over food. I think that's a way to show love through food.